Hello and welcome. My name is Lexi Chong and here I like to talk about luxury beauty. Today we are taking a look at the Ray Morris travel set. Now Ray Morris has recently switched all of her brushes from natural hair to synthetic and she has just come out with a new travel set. Now this is really cute. It is expensive and so you know it's not it's definitely not going to be a must have for everybody but it's a miniature version of the frame. So we're gonna take a look at this and let's start with the travel case here. So this is magnetic. This is like a vegan leather material. You can see it folds out. You do have some magnetic pieces here. And what's cool about this case is, tired of the gray? Switch it over, it's reversible. So you just fold this up. All right, and so, all right, so when you're folding this up, you want these here. And then these are going to push in like you're wrapping a present. This comes up and this flips over. Now you have the black case. So I think that's kind of cute, you know, just an, another little added touch. And if you're not familiar with the Ray Morris frame, this is all a magnet. So you can put brushes here or here or here. You can use this little rack when you are traveling. If you want to dry your brushes, hang them upside down so they can drip dry nicely. And, you know, it also allows you to just kind of, you know, squeeze more things in if you want. So I think it's really, you know, just a cute little idea for traveling or just cute in general. <laughs> now take a look at the size of the brushes. They are pretty small. Just for reference, this here is the Sonia G Builder Pro. So you can see how much smaller the travel brushes are. Now here is the original frame. So you can see the size difference. It's going to be a pretty big size difference here. And look at the width and so forth. Now, let me just show you a couple of the brushes. So the brushes in the set, this is a natural hair one, this is synthetic. So you can see there is a little bit of a difference moving from the natural hair to synthetic, but you have the full brush size, but just notice the difference. The ferrule size is the same, but, and by the way, these are all like one, one piece construction, but you can see it just like cuts off right here. And we have the magnets down in the bottom of the handles so that these stick around. Another full size versus synthetic option. And this one here is actually the synthetic six and a half in the full size and in the smaller size. So you can see that the brush heads are identical. And here you've got the ferrule. You can see this time the ferrule is gonna be a little bit shorter in the travel size compared to the full size where they cut off. So let's look at the brushes that are included in the frame. Those are actually the only duplicates that I personally have. I don't have a lot of her eye brushes. So in the frame set, we get the little traveling case. We get the frame. We have the number one brush, which is your cheek brush. You can use this though for anywhere on the face. And then next up, this is the iconic six and a half brush. So this is probably the most Italy, it's the one that I've heard of the most from Ray Morris's line because look at the shape here. You have this really interesting shape. Um, you know, it's angled here. It's also, it's gonna be angled or curved this way. And it's really great for like one and done eyeshadow. And yet it's not super thin, like most like arrowhead brushes. So this is a really unique brush. I really love this shape. And I like it in both the full size and the travel size. I think it's something very versatile to have. And I'm really glad she included it in the travel set because, you know, honestly, if you're like me, I don't usually wear a lot of makeup while I'm traveling during the day. This is probably really the only thing that I would use. However, I do have a daytime and a nighttime look that I will share with you using these brushes. And I used more than this for the daytime in this. Now... So here's the eight and it is a little dirty. You can see this can be used as a crease brush. You can see the flexibility that you have here. You can also see though that it's totally angled. Okay, and that's gonna allow it to give more versatility to inner corner, lash line, um, you know, deepening the crease and so forth. So this is a really great brush to have in there. We also have the eight and a half, which is essentially the same shape, 
as the eight, okay? But you can see that this is gonna be a little bit shorter, so there's not gonna be as much flexibility. And in this case, we have a pinched ferrule compared to a round ferrule, which gives it that flatter shape and allows it to, you know, basically put down the pigment um, in a different way. This will be used more for like buffing and a softer finish. This one, you know, it's synthetic by the way, wet or dry would be fine, but this will really lay down your color well. You've got the angle to get into the corners or small areas and using the side of this brush makes it really easy for the lash line as well. Next, we have the number 11 and you can see this is just gonna be your flat shader style. You can see it's a little bit of a larger brush head than the eight and a half here. Just in comparison to a couple Sonia G's, this here is a soft shader, which is my go-to. You can see it's gonna be smaller and this has a little bit more of a curve all around. And then this is the worker brush from the Lotus set. And you can see that these are gonna be much more similar in shape and size. Next for number 12, this is just gonna be kind of, you know, you can use this for liner, you can use it for smaller areas. And it's going to be most similar to the Sonia G flat definer, but you can see the flat definer is more around it. This is going to be a little bit more squared off and yeah, flexibility is about the same. And the last brush is the 16. So you can use this for eyeliner or lip liner. And I used it for lip liner in the demonstration, but I have used this for eyeliner. I typically do like to use this for eyeliner because I like using an angled brush. It's actually gonna be most like the Byredo number 11. The angle is the same. This is just gonna be slightly smaller. And yeah, this is your, your size difference for the brushes. So overall though, I think this travel set from Ray Morris is incredibly versatile. I really love the idea of being able to have this magnetic frame so that you can dry your brushes while you are traveling and keeping them safe in this you know, case is really handy to make sure that, you know, they don't get loose in a bag or damaged or anything like that. So let me show you how I pack for traveling. I pack very, very minimal amounts of makeup. So I'm going to show you exactly what I would pack. Let's start off by putting the frame away here. Put these in, fold up our corners, close this up. So this will go in my makeup bag. I'm just using this bag here. This is my go-to makeup bag. This was actually from Sephora many years ago. But if you don't have room in your makeup bag, then what I would do is take a microfiber cloth and I always wrap, I usually wrap my brushes in them. Now that I have this travel set, I feel like I don't need to. So I would wrap like my makeup. I just take a microfiber cloth and wrap up my brushes or wrap up my makeup. And then you could just throw this in a bag as is. So I'm gonna put this here in my case, in my bag. And depending on how long I would be traveling for, if it's just a couple days, you know, I don't worry about bringing a second cloth. If I'm gonna be gone longer, I will usually bring a second cloth. So then I would wrap my makeup in a cloth as well. So this is what I have so far. And I like to pick makeup that doesn't take up a lot of space and is going to be very versatile. So for foundation, I tend to go for a powder foundation. I have the Suku Glow Powder Foundation. I never bought the case packaging for it. And actually I like to travel with it just in this because it's just so handy. So I'll take this, I'm just gonna lay out another cloth here and put everything in my cloth for now. And then we're gonna wrap it and put it in my bag. And then I do always bring the Vizier Eye Primer. I like to bring a small eyeshadow palette that has versatility. So this one here is the Vizier Petit Four Bullion Quad. And I like this one because I've got the lighter looks, the lighter colors that I would use during the daytime. And then I also have deeper and more vibrant colors as well that I could use, you know, for a more amped up night look. One of my go-to travel palettes is actually the Dior Black Bow. And I actually broke this shadow when I was traveling last time I dropped it. Um, but I really like this because I wear these two lighter shades during the day. And then these deeper shades, I can get a really like glamorous smoky eye if I want. So this is another one that I really like to travel with because again, we're looking at lighter shades and deeper shades 
and it has a little bit of a punch of color in it as well. So I try to take one, maybe two eyeshadow palettes, depending on the length of my stay. Then I bring an eyeliner. If you're going with a palette with a lot of lighter colors, you could bring in a couple of eyeliners to kind of change your look up a little bit. But I like to go with something versatile, so something creamy that if I really wanted to, I could smoke this out and use this as shadow. So this is the Chanel Stilo Ombre Contour. And this here is shade 13 Contour Khaki, which, you know, you might think is a green, but it's actually a brown. <laughs> so um, yeah, this is just like a really neutral one. But if I were going with a palette that had a lot of lighter shades, I'd probably pick a couple of colorful eyeliners to bring with me to kind of just change up the look. And then I always bring a mascara sample. I try not to bring a full size. So this is the YSL Lash Clash. And for a brow product, I like to bring something that's kind of like quick and easy uh, in one piece. So something like the Tom Ford Fiber Brow Gel, or this is the Surratt Expressionist Brow Gel in light brown. Then for the rest of my face, I try to be very versatile. And so I like, I like the face palette, like the Burberry Essentials Glow. So I use this all the time for traveling. And I forgot to mention, you know, if you don't like powder foundations, another good option is a cushion foundation. I think those are really easy to travel with. Of course, I have little jars that I've decanted liquid foundations into, traveled with them, but I do find that always be a little bit messy and sometimes a little bit wasteful as well, unless you really use up everything that you brought. So I think a cushion or a powder foundation is a really great thing to bring. And this palette, I mean, this is just incredible because you've got this, you know, kind of cream shadow here that can really be smudged out. You have this lighter shimmery bronzy shade that you can use. And then you have two blushes and you also have two highlighters. And there, this is the light palette, but there is a darker version as well. So this is the Burberry Essentials Glow. So this is definitely a go-to travel palette for me. Otherwise, you know, I end up taking like a bronzer and a blush and a highlight. And then sometimes I want a different one. And just the bulkiness of the packaging, I think is too much. So I do recommend a face palette. You could even bring something like the Natasha Denona Glam Face Palette. That's a really great thing to travel with. I didn't love the color, so I gave it to my friend. But um, yeah, this is a go-to for me. And then I really think lips always make the look and they're the easiest thing to change up, but I try my best not to bring too many lip products. If you're somebody who likes a lip palette, that's a good option. Something like the Westman Atelier lip palettes. I personally don't really love those and I don't like having to put my fingers or a brush in something, especially when I'm traveling because it can be kind of a pain. So I usually try to limit myself to three lip products and I will bring a lip crayon or liner that I can put all over. This one here is the Dior uh, Rouge Graphiste in Vibrant Nude, and I love this shade. So I will wear this all over or add a lip gloss on top. I always think it's important to bring a lip gloss. This is number two from Sisley, which is the shade Aurora, which is a sparkly light pink. But a lot of times if I have like a little like sample of a gloss, I'll just bring that instead. So that's actually how I started loving the Ilia Only You gloss because I had a little sample to start with. And that one was just so beautiful, I used it up. And then for a red lip or something deeper, if I want something deeper, then I'll often go with something sample size, maybe a bullet pouch or something like that, you know, the little bubble packets. Um, just because I probably won't wear that as much. This is a little sample size of the Chanel Rouge Allure Lock in 08. And that's what I have on my lips right now. If I'm going to wear red lipstick much, then I'll bring a uh, an actual like red lip liner as well. But otherwise, I try to do something versatile where I have something crayon-like that I could use as a lip liner, a gloss, and a um, punchy lipstick. So I've got it all wrapped up in my cloth. Just gonna stick this in my bag. And I don't bring a separate mirror. The face palette has a mirror in it, so I, I use that. And, you know, I always like to just make sure I bring one thing that does have a mirror, just in case the mirror, you know, that they have there, you know, if you're traveling with somebody else, they might be 
be using it or you know, if you want to get closer to the window for natural light. So then that's everything. And then you can see I've got plenty of space here. I will pack my skincare in the same bag. I'll throw in a little, I usually bring a travel size brush with me. Um, just a little, it's actually the Sephora brand brush. I bring the little travel size brush with a couple of hair things wrapped around the handle. And then I throw in skincare samples, lots of skincare samples. And I'll usually bring like shampoo sample packets or something too, in case I don't like whatever the hotel has. So I can fit all of my toiletries in here. I am somebody who does not like to pack a checked bag unless I really have to because I have gone through the experience of having my luggage lost and it's been a nightmare. So I always try my best not to have to check bags. I pack very light and yeah, this bag in particular, I really like this. This is really old though. So, you know, um, but it's a standard size makeup bag. So I have two looks to share with you. We have a daytime look and a nighttime look using the products that I just packed in my bag and the travel brush set. So you can see how versatile everything is. And I just wanna mention that this travel set, it is a very expensive travel set. If you go and you shop on the Ray Morris site though, it is less expensive there. And it's a significant price difference there versus like Beautylish or cult beauty which who also have this for sale now one thing to note when you are looking at the ray morris website you can change the currency to like us dollars or whatever country you are in so you can see the prices reflected there but when you click to check out the checkout prices are always going to be in australian dollars so um you know your checkout price will look differently but just a heads up. So you can see the prices on the regular portion of the shopping website in your currency, but checkout will be AUD. All right, so we're gonna do an easy daytime look. Most of my vacations during like the daytime stuff, I do things like hiking or maybe like shopping or you know, lots of walking and stuff. I'm not really a lie on the beach kind of person. So uh, I tend to go with really easy, minimal makeup during the day. And this is the Suku Glow Powder Foundation in shade 210. Normally, I like to use a brush like this. This is the Wayne Goss Holiday Brush with it. Um, but we're gonna stick with just this travel brush. Let me bring you in closer. So since I pack very minimally when I travel, because again, I had the experience of losing my luggage before. By the way, this is brush number one from the travel set. Um, you know, I don't bring a ton of makeup and so I really try to minimize what I bring and I think powder foundations are a great product for traveling and this one in particular, you can use this wet or dry. So if you want to have more coverage and you want more of the look of a liquid foundation, you can use like a dampened sponge or brush or whatever with this to uh, have more of that like coverage and more of like that wet look. So I'm just layering this on. You can see how nicely it goes on. You can also see this is not the perfect shade for me. Unfortunately, they don't have, I don't have a perfect shade in this foundation. However, um, I do think it is close enough. So I use it and I, love this this is my favorite powder foundation so even though it's not a perfect match i still use it and this is going to be it for me for daytime i always bring a microfiber cloth with me as a matter of fact when i'm packing like my makeup and my brushes and things like that i always wrap them in a microfiber cloth or sometimes two cloths and then stick them in a makeup bag just for a little added protection then I wipe this off on my cloth, but I like to keep things simple. So for the rest of the face, we're going in with the Burberry palette. And this is the Essentials Glow in the 01 Fair to Light Medium. And we're going to, let's go with this like more mauve shade. I'm going to use the same brush here. And I'm not really going to use the contour or anything right now, but when we do a night look, we'll go into that then. Uh, you can see how well this brush puts it on. It's actually a little bit too much. We'll have to buff that in a little bit. Look at that. So I'm just going to wipe the brush off and kind of 
blend this out a little bit more. And then we'll use the same brush for the highlight. So I'm gonna go into the pink down at the bottom. And the pink one has been sold separately, so you might already have it, even if you don't have this palette. It is the Pink Pearl shade from Burberry. All right, so there's my highlight and my blush. And I do always pack an eye primer. So this is the Viseart eye primer. You notice I did not use a face primer with the powder foundation. That's one of the reasons I always bring the powder. I just feel like I don't need a primer. And so it's one last thing to pack. Now, if I'm traveling somewhere and I'm going to be there for several days, then I would probably wash this and set it in the little stand here to dry. You can, you know, dry it with the bristles down. I think that's one of the great things about this. If I'm only going to be there for a day or two, I'll probably just leave it like this and, you know, just reuse it. Just be sure to clean it off as much as possible. Now for eyes, we're going to go in very lightly. I like to keep things very simple during the day when I'm traveling. So we're going to use an eyeliner and we're going to use this quad. This is the Bullion Quad, the Pitsy Four from Viseart. So we're gonna start off with an eyeliner and I like to choose one of the like eyeliner crayons because I feel like they're more versatile. You can really, you know, buff them out, use them more as an eyeshadow or an eyeshadow base. This one here is from Chanel, it's the Stilo Ombre Contour and this is in Contour Khaki, which is really more of a deep brown. And this one was limited edition, I'm not sure if it's still around and See here, it's number 13. So I'm just going to put this on the upper lash line here, just close to the lashes. I'm taking brush 12, which is the little liner brush here, and I'm just going to blend this out a little bit, just soften it so I have like this smudged look here along the lash line. You can see that I am using this, um, you know, so that it is longer or taller. Then I can take a little bit of this and just get a little bit of the product here on the bristles here. And I can use this to get something a little bit more precise if I want. And I'll just put this on the lower lash line here. And I'm just going to go right along the lash line just to deepen that up a little bit on the top. And then as I mentioned for the day, I like to keep it very simple. So we're just going to go in with one light shade here. So we're going to take the six and a half brush and I'm just going to go into the lightest shade here. I'm going to take the number five, which is just the crease brush here, and just going to use that with no product in the crease area. Just kind of buffing some of that right under the brow bone. And I'm just going to take a little tiny bit of, let's go with this uh, shade right next to it, just right here on the tip, just dabbing that on my cloth so I don't have too much product there. And we're going to put this right underneath, just on the outer portion, wipe off the brush and then softly blend that. I do always bring an eyelash curler with me. So this is the rougher eyelash curler. I'm just going to curl these. And then I really don't like to bring large items. So we're going to go with a travel mascara. I typically will just bring whatever free sample I have. And this was one of the beauty offers from Sephora that I picked up recently. This is the YSL Lash Clash. And I actually, I like this mascara. It can be a little bit like clumpy when you're applying it because I mean, look at this brush. The product can kind of get everywhere. But I think um, when you get it on, it looks really nice. 
very volumizing. And typically I like to use a volumizing one because I think it's going to be a little bit more versatile for daytime versus nighttime looks. For brows, I like to take something all in one. So the Tom Ford Fiber Brow Gel is a favorite. This one here is the Surratt Expressionist Brow Pomade. And this one is the shade Light Brown. So I'm just going to apply this. And I have to say, don't always do my brows. And then for lips, again, I bring minimal lip products. So we're going to take a little bit of the Dior Rouge Graphiste or graphist uh, lip color. This is shade 004, and you can see I've used this one quite a bit, but it is a lip crayon style. And we're gonna put on a little bit of this, just a light layer, and then top it with some gloss. Now for gloss, I often bring just whatever sample I have. Um, I am out of a sample right now, so I'm taking just a smaller size gloss. This is actually my favorite lip gloss formula. Anyway, this is the Sisley Fido Gloss, and this one is shade 2 Aurora, which has some shimmer. So this would be like just a quick daytime look for me. All right, it's time for our nighttime look, and we're going to start off with the cream contour shade in the Burberry Essentials Glow. So I'm just going to add a little bit here and just use my fingers to smudge that out. I'm not using a ton, and I'm going over this with the powder foundation. Another great foundation option for me with traveling are cushion foundations. So you can see that's definitely more emphasis than I would put on if I were going on top of foundation. Ooh, made too much of a mess here. All right, so you can see it's definitely going to be a stronger emphasis to go underneath. Let's move on to the powder foundation. Now, as I mentioned, you can use this wet, and honestly, I probably would bring some sort of like flocked sponge or something to have that option with me. But since we are focusing on the Ray Morris travel brush, I'm going to go back in with the number one brush that we used with the daytime look and put this on. All right, so uh, this is the powder foundation then. You can see it doesn't look quite as good as a liquid foundation quite at the moment, but once this kind of melds with my skin a little bit, it's gonna look much more seamless. It's going to look just like a little bit more flawless than it does right after you put it. You kind of need your the powders to interact with your natural oils. If you wanna speed that process up, of course, using like a facial mist or something will help with that as well. But again, I'm traveling light, so I don't have one. So in that case, if I really wanted to wet it down, I would just get my hands a little damp and press it on my face. But I'm perfectly willing to allow my natural oils the time to react with this. Let's move on. I'm gonna take a little bit of the um, powder bronzer shade just put that back here and you can see this one has a little luminosity and I'm wiping the brush off and I'm going to do a mix of these two shades for the cheeks so I'm putting my highlighter and my blush together just going to dab that on All right, moving on to the eyes, I'm going in with the Vizier Eye Primer. Starting with the Chanel Cielo Ombre Contour, and do you want to note that I used the sharpener at the end of this to sharpen the point a little bit. Now, this type of liner does not have a, you know, it does not come to a super fine point. So we're going to put this on and then smudge it out with some of the darker eyeshadow as well. So 
not to worry about getting a fine line here. And let's, and I'm taking the number 12 brush and I'm just gonna use that to kind of change the angle of this a little bit. So let me get a little product on the brush directly. We'll clean this up. This is just gonna be underneath the shadow, so. Next, I'm taking the Ray Morris eight and a half, and you can see this one is going to be uh, an arrowhead, great for this, also great for outer corner, but you can also use this side for the liner. So we're gonna go into the black here, and I'm going to use the side of the brush to get a little powder, and I'm going to use this on top of the eyeliner here. I'm just taking a little tip on the arrowhead as well and just gonna softly pat a little bit of this on here. Next, I'm taking the Ray Morris. This is the 11 and we're gonna go into the gold here and just going to put this on the lid going over the black here as well. Just kind of patting over the black. I'm going to go back in with the eight and a half into this and the first shade. I'm just going to get some for the inner corner area here. Let's brighten this up. Just taking a small dab of the gold again to just kind of pat over the edges there, just very softly. Going back with the eight and a half with nothing on it and just going over the lash line here. Taking the eight, the crease brush into this shade and just gonna get a little bit of this on here and just go in the crease a little bit. Just to, I'm trying not to go above the crease, crease too much. And then I'm taking a dab of the first color on the same brush just gonna put that right above, up to the brow bone a little bit, very softly. Just gonna take a little bit of the lighter color and put that right on the edge there. And just going back in with the eight and a half on the side with the black, and just going to revive that a little bit right along the lash line here. For the lower lash line, going into this shade here with the eight and a half, just along the side. I'm gonna put this right here. And I'm just gonna get a touch of black to very softly put right with that. Just on the outer portion. Wipe the brush off and just softly blend those two together. You can see how much movement this brush has. Really easy to use here. All right, gonna finish off the lashes and the brows. And next for lips, you know, totally up to you. I always like to bring little sample sizes. This one here happens to be a Chanel. Um, this is a Rouge Lure Lock in number 08. And we're gonna go ahead and put this on. But, you know, a lot of times I'll have something like the Dior 999 because they have those little sample sizes of them or like a bubble packet or something that I bring with me. Now we're going to use the 16, which is an angle brush. You can use this for eyeliner, but you can also use this for lipstick. So I'm going to go ahead and get a little product here and use this in place of lip liner. All right, so uh, this is going to be it. Let me show you from a distance. So uh, this is the nighttime look then. 
And you can see I did it with minimal products, all with the travel set. And let me know what you guys think. Thank you so much for tuning in. I would love to know what you thought of today's video, if you found this helpful. And uh, let me know what you like to bring when you're traveling and if you have any ways to travel even lighter than I did. And thank you so much for tuning in today. And I hope you have a great day. Stay safe and healthy.